welcome to Beauty on a Budget and I wanted to share with you today something I'm really pleased about. I saw a few weeks ago that Asda were going to launch a new vitamin C range and I thought, as did you know, they don't I normally go to one of the pharmacies, uh, Boots or Superdrug. So I thought, well, you know, we'll see. So being me, I immediately went online, checked out what they were doing when it was coming out, what's in it, where it comes from, <laughs> as per usual. Um, and it was very, very hyped. Apparently it was really good. Now, you guys who know me know that I have to be so careful. I've got, I must have the most sensitive skin on the planet. I'll give you a for instance. This week, uh, last week, I changed my fabric conditioner. I normally use the pure white. Um, you know, the, got the baby on the front. It's a very gentle one. I normally use that. But I thought, I have a change. And I bought the pink blossom. Oh my goodness, my eyes and my face and it, everything was so sore. It's, it's silly. My skin is so silly sensitive. So if I used a strong vitamin C or a stronger vitamin C, um, as much as I'd love to try these things out, I know what would happen. I know what would happen to my skin. So there's certain things that I'm quite wary of with my skin. Um, I mean, it's, squalene suits me fine, niacinamide suits me fine, but once I go into the glycolic acids and those type of things, it just they just hurt my face so much. Um, and I know a lot of those think you're going to get a result, but um, not the result that I get, believe me. So anyway, I'm quite dubious with a strong vitamin C. Um, so when they brought this out, I thought, well, I'm going to have a look first because if it's too much, it's just, you know, it's not going to do me any good. So I read up, everything looks good. And I thought, okay, I'll get a little bit of the range. Well, they do five things I've got four of them and only because they didn't have the fifth one in stock. <laughs> so let's see. This is the first one, right? This is... The microdermabrasion scrub. It's not at all heavy feeling or, um, you know, it's not at all gritty and you can't feel little, some of them are like little shells in on the side. It's not that type of scrub at all. But it lifts. You can feel it really lifting. I'll show you it up closer. It's, I am really pleased with this range, guys. And you know there's not many skincare in So far, I mean, I've only had it about three weeks. So, so far, I'm pleased with it. It's very difficult to tell the results in three weeks. And I wouldn't try to do, uh, you know, so oh, the sun's really coming in here. Um, I wouldn't try to do that. Look at the sun coming in the window, my goodness. <laughs> Shock horror. Um, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't say you're going to get a result in three weeks because you're not. But I'll just show you the type of consistency it is. It's there on my hands. So I can feel... I can feel like a very, very granulated salt type you know i'm trying to think of the consistency i can feel much much milder than that actually uh lighter than that but i can feel it i can get it to and you can but it's not harsh it's not stripping um it smells beautiful of um beautiful orangey smell about it but it's not a fake it's honestly it smells like a fresh orange it's beautiful um it had no effects on my face whatsoever unlike the sun <laughs> it had no effect on my face whatsoever it didn't hurt my face as i said it's a little early yet to say whether it's going to be a winner but so far it hasn't you know sent me running for the trees <laughs> 
The next thing I've got in the range is the face mask. Now again, this is not a face mask that you put on. You can, you can put it on quite thick um, and wash it off in half an hour. Well, it says 20 minutes, but wash it off in half an hour. So that's the face mask. Or you can use it. Do you remember how I used to use them? Um, or maybe you do yourself. The Super Drugs Vitamin E one where you can put it on and just leave it. Leave it on all the time. Leave it overnight and it absorbs into your skin. It's one of those. I've used that a few nights running. I used it last night. No breakouts. Nothing wrong with my skin. So I am very, very happy with that. So far, very, very happy with that. And I've got the mega sense, most mega sensitive skin, guys. That's why I always try to bring you these things. Because I know I can't be the only one on the planet with the skin like that. <laughs> the next thing is the vitamin C serum. This is lovely, guys. I use this in my morning skincare routine. As you can see there, it's quite a... It's almost, it's not completely transparent, but it's also much tra it's almost transparent. And it feels like setting. It really feels like setting. Smells gorgeous. I'm sorry guys, I'm sitting in the wrong place because that window. It's lovely. I put it in in the morning, um, after my hyaluronic acid, my squalene, then I put that on before my sunscreen. Oh, the moisturiser, if I'm using a moisturiser that day. But I am really, really pleased with that. It goes straight into the skin. And they do, this is the last thing from the range. This is the vitamin E mo gel moisturiser. I thought coming up for the summer, to have the gel one, now I thought I was going to open it to kind of an orange gel, I don't know why. But it's, it is a gel, it's looks in the form of a cream, but when you touch it, you can feel it is like a gel. I don't know where I've got left to put there. Again, it's just like satin. And you can put this on as final in the morning or the night. I'll... I do that in the morning. I alternate really between this and this. And so far both of them are lovely. But it's the last thing I put on before my sunscreen. It's so far it's lovely. It's not breaking me out. And I am thrilled so far. As I said, I did look up really well before I brought it. So it is Esther's own range. They've also got a face wash, but it wasn't in stock, but I will try that when it uh, when it's in stock. So we've got the Microderm Abrasion um, Exfoliator, but it's a lovely exfoliator. It's not harsh, not harsh at all. Then we've got the face mask. Again, you've got the choice of either leaving it on all night, which I did last night, or you can put it on thicker and wash it off in you know whatever long time you like to leave your mask on for got the hydrating booster serum and that's lovely it, it, they're lovely if you've got a skin like mine guys if you're on a budget and i think being on a budget skincare is harder to find um than makeup it's harder to find budget priced skincare than makeup ones that work i love the ordinary um and i love balance they're the two that probably over the years balance for years um and the ordinary i love um and i like cerave but you can't always get hold of it here it's it's always sold out here so to say i can get that regularly i can't um but I'm liking this line. Whether it will go down with my Sarah, um, my balance and my ordinary, I don't know. I haven't had it long enough yet. But so far, so good. 
And the key to me, it doesn't break me out and I can feel it feels nice on my skin and I can feel my skin's absorbing it and I can feel the softness in my skin. So I'm really, really liking these so far, guys. So they're Asta Zone Vitamin C range. They haven't been out long, but I love them so far. So far. But of course, I'll keep you updated as I always do so you know. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. As you can see, I'm down in my kitchen again. Um, Baz is going to decorate my little filming room for me upstairs. Um, so I can make it a bit clearer in the background. Maybe make, you know, something a bit clearer. And it hasn't been decorated for quite a few years, that room. So it certainly could do with it. And, and where the walls are lemon upstairs, it's, it's not the best background. It's not the best background. Um, so he's decorating that for me and we're clearing it out at the moment and obviously I'm putting my makeup in safe places. <laughs> um, but when he does the actual painting, I will go down, I go down to my daughter's because paint has a, a funny effect on me, it's, I don't know, it's the chemicals it just does. Um, so I'll be going down to, to Rebecca's while he does some painting for me, so I'm looking forward to when I get back, not only seeing my bags, but also seeing my new room. <laughs> so, um, I'll be filming down here probably for a little while, for the next couple of videos anyway. Um, anyway, that's me mattering on. So, vitamin C range, I'm pleased I'll try it. I'll keep you updated. You take care, my darlings, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now. Bye.